Hello viewers, we've come to Yepulu this morning, it's a historic 14th century site. And Yepulu means to run off the rice field or something, water run off the rice field, something like that. So we're just walking our way down there and um, to have a look. Expecting Rambo to come out of there with a big knife. Oh, here it is. I've got mud on my shoe. New Zealand Customs will freak out and shut down the country if I don't wash it. Right, so this, this looks like the temple entry. This seems to be a typical temple doorway. And you have to wear a sarong. You can have shoulders open but not legs for some reason. Oh look at this. Right now we've just gone through the temple. We're wandering down this track to see where it goes. All these nice rice paddies everywhere. So we've gone through the temple and there's this concrete walkway. I don't know where it's taking us, but we're gonna follow it. Nice, so all the rice fields drain from one to another and they step down the hill and end up down back down in the stream so oh, look oh, yeah, look the banana so this is the flower of the banana and you can see the green banana bananas so when you go shopping in New Zealand the bananas are basically that colour I don't know if you can see over there, there's a lady working. Pretty back-breaking work. Oh. So they're building, not far from the entrance, they're building these nice looking units or townhouses. I'd say these will be wicked when they're done. I think it's a building site. Oh, look. they got the pool. The kitchen. Look at the view though. So Yepulu is a lovely little spot. There's a cafe here. There's some ponds, some nice villas. And this is all new accommodation they're building. It looks great. This is a nice little cafe at Yepulu. Lovely little spot. Yes. Nice use of this timber. Lovely work. Hmm. So Yepulu, you get your ticket here, there's this really nice, you go to the temple bit and a really nice little loop walk all through the rice paddies. They're building the nice accommodation and the cafe down there is really nice. We didn't eat but they do really nice food, local barley food, smoothies and juices and all that sort of stuff as well. So definitely worth coming here. And when that accommodation is built it would be a great spot for a couple of nights, it's so quiet. Yeah, 